everybody, it's Jordan PDQ. This time with we got a special guest star. Yeah, Brock over here from the uh, the blog side of things. That's right. We're talking about the uh, November Patch Tuesday, uh, which is I gotta say this is one of the lightest months we've seen. We got a lot to be grateful for this we, month. We do a lot, a lot of things. Well, uh, so fifty eight total exploits patched. There's some drama around that number. There is. They're yeah. uh, starting. That's you know questionable whether we should include Chromium in that list or not. Yeah, so 58 is just the pure Windows ones. If you include Chromium for since the start of the month, it's like 62 or 63. And if you go back since last p- patch Tuesday, you're like at 78 or something. Yeah, but I mean, who cares about Chromium? It's not like anyone uses browsers based off that and, stuff. And in general, unless you have the group policy set to control that, Chromium is just going to kind of update its own as thing. it goes. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're sticking with the 58, but you got three critical and three that are already exploited. Which is kind of a fun number. It's not bad. Yeah, no, I mean, it seems pretty average lately, right? Yep. So let's let's go go down to some of the lowlights. This first one's my favorite. This is the uh, message queue. That's not, that's the pragmatic. Do it live. There we go. Third time's a charm. No, I just have the wrong link. I'm going to fix that link later. So the uh, message (laughs) queue is back. (laughs) My blog is, by the time you watch this video, that, that link will be fixed. Is this one, I think, eight months in a row we've seen this. It's a critical one. Uh, so if you have a server that is using the messaging queue service and listening on TCP port 1801, it's a really bad risk. That's kind of an uncommon thing. I think it was used earlier a lot, but it's used less now, but I'm not sure where you're at. But overall, if you're curious, first check to see, is this server running on whatever server you want to know? Get that result back if it is. Is it listening to 1801? Right. And if both of those are true, then uh, I would say patch, but this is the eighth time in a row. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe find another solution. Exactly. I mean, if you haven't learned your lesson at this point, I mean, there's you're just going to fail to the vulnerability of one eventually, right? Yeah. I mean, eight times in a row. This is getting as bad as when the print spooler first had the horrific breach. And then like every month there was a new critical it's, it's like that now, but for the messaging queue. So right. It's, if you, if you it's can, the new move, print spooler. Yeah, if you can move away from it, you should. Yeah. All right, the, the next one is another 9.8 that uh, is listed as important instead of critical, which just means it's a pretty uncommon setup in their minds. Right. It makes it less likely to be exploited even when it is very exploitable. Right. But again, if it's one of those things like if you qualify for this, yeah. you should definitely fix it. Yeah. So if you have a network policy server and it is using PEEP, or I'm going to read this one, Protected Extensible Authentication Protocol. Good job. Yeah. It's off the top of my head where I just read it off the TV. <laughs> and it uses that. If you have that very specific setup, this is a network vulnerability uh, that has no user interaction needed, no privileges required. So basically, if you're yeah. using an MPS server with PEEP to use the authentication for Wi-Fi, you're very vulnerable. Right. Checks pa- off all those easy yeah. boxes. Yeah. Pa- patch now. Yeah. All right, and the last one, this is one that was already exploited, which is kind of fun. This is just an elevation of privilege for the DWM core library. And basically, this one's a local attack vector only, so they have to be in your network. But if they get it, they can get system privileges if they have that one. So it's not considered risk, but it's already been exploited. So they're just kind of throwing out there. It's worth knowing. Just one of those, definitely get that one patched. Right. It's bad, but if they're already in your network, it's already bad, so... Yeah, so, I mean, overall, as, as far as numbers go, this is this is about as pleasant as it's been. No, I am grateful for low-risk uh, exploits out there and a low number of them. And I'm also grateful for software that can patch it. Automation. Yeah, makes the, it easy. The best work is the work that you don't do anymore. Right. <laughs> That's kind of everything for this Patch Tuesday. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just laid back on this one because it's such a mild one and I'm enjoying it. But. Yeah, and I'm just thinking about turkey and pie at this point. So. Okay, for PDQ, I'm Jordan. And I'm Brock.